When a super empath is angry, this is how the narcissist is made to apologize. Narcissists possess an exaggerated sense of self-importance, displaying pretentiousness unabashedly. They aren't shy about flaunting their achievements, social status, and altruism. Rarely is anyone else's needs prioritized above their own, with no concept of humility. Their arrogance causes them to look down upon ordinary people. Narcissists possess a distorted view of their significance, making it challenging for them to accept blame for their actions. Do they ever apologize? If so, how often? However, I worry that it's nothing more than a charade and an excuse. The main reason for producing this video is to delve into the strategies employed by highly empathetic individuals to obtain apologies from narcissists. So, watch the entire video to see what unfolds. Number 1. The Uncompromising Super Empath Empaths possess a rare blend of authenticity and discipline, channeling their values through self-control. They view fairness as an integral part of a fulfilling existence, making them unyielding towards any wrongdoing. Empaths understand that acknowledging one's misdeeds is vital to issuing a sincere apology. With their innate ability to recognize the harm caused, they can expose the narcissist's behavior and draw out a genuine apology. While some narcissists may have a degree of self-awareness, not all fit that description. Some remain ignorant of their actions' gravity until confronted by the empath's unwavering compassion. When challenged by highly empathetic individuals, do you believe narcissists can experience true remorse for their transgressions? Number 2. Unconditional Generosity of Super Empaths For those who believe in the power of compassion, revenge is irrelevant. Responding to cruelty with similar tactics only perpetuates the cycle of harm. Such actions not only hurt the target but also diminish the one who uses them. It's crucial to avoid using force whenever possible. Instead, seeking to evoke feelings of regret and remorse in one's abuser may lead to peace talks that address underlying issues. While it's essential to hold narcissists accountable for their actions, Empaths remain committed to treating even the cruelest individuals with kindness and grace. Empaths recognize the humanity in all and accept people's potential to learn and grow. Forgiveness and second chances are only possible if genuine remorse is present. The unyielding generosity of super-empaths towards narcissists is motivated by the hope that the offender acknowledges their wrongdoing and seeks to change. What do you think about the idea that even narcissists have a conscience and are capable of feeling guilt, no matter how insincere? Number 3. The Exhaustion of Super Empaths in Narcissistic Relationships Sensitivity is a coveted quality in a partner, making highly empathetic people excellent friends and lovers. They listen attentively and respond appropriately to their partner's needs. Despite recognizing warning signs in their relationship, Highly empathic people may try to change the dynamic and sacrifice their own values to support their partner's emotional and intellectual growth. However, those in relationships with narcissists eventually reach a point where they can no longer love the narcissist despite warning signs. Narcissists establish and maintain relationships solely for their benefit, exploiting their partners in the process. When their supply of narcissistic attention is threatened, such as when highly empathic people stop catering to their needs, the narcissist becomes anxious and insecure. Seeking the approval and affection of their empathic partner, the narcissist may apologize for their behavior. However, as narcissists frequently make empty promises and fail to change, their temporary good behavior is not reliable. Once they regain the empath's love, they are all too eager to revert to their old ways. Number 4. Invulnerability to Narcissists' Blame Gaming Narcissists are exceptional culprits of shirking accountability and blaming others, diverting attention from themselves. They work tirelessly to evade disgrace by using coercion and manipulation, leaving others to take the blame for their wrongdoings. Unfazed by the repercussions of their actions, they perpetually repeat the same mistakes. However, super-empaths won't let them get away with it. In order to receive an apology, the super-empaths must push back against the narcissist's attempts to pin responsibility. 
Narcissists can only admit fault and apologize when pushed past the threshold of reason. Super empaths' rigid minds conceptualize good and bad behavior based on morals and principles, unlike narcissists. They possess self-awareness, separating their desires from those of others, resulting in a healthy sense of self. Though narcissists' words may wound, super empaths maintain robust boundaries. Their high sensitivity lets them recognize their flaws, avoiding brute discipline. Number 5. Super empaths cease responding to narcissists in relationships. Narcissists thrive on attention, craving the undivided focus and sympathy they can't find elsewhere. Achieving their desired happiness requires the victim's complete attention, offering an unparalleled rush. They fantasize about their behavior being noticed by others, deriving pleasure from it. Super empaths, though, view the world from a distinct perspective, knowing when to stop indulging the obnoxious narcissist's antics. Emotional exhaustion depletes super empaths' reserves, hindering their ability to function regularly. Should a narcissist refuse to improve despite the empath's consistent efforts, the super empath withdraws their support. They're mindful of their own limitations and would never jeopardize their well-being for external validation. If rejected, the narcissist replays the interaction, fixated on what went awry. Apologizing to the super empath may be the narcissist's way of handling rejection from their fuel source. In your opinion, what are the ramifications of super empaths for giving narcissists? Number 6. Excessive self-absorption of egocentric partners. If a super empath exhausts themselves, trying to change a narcissist's mind to no avail, they eventually give up on the relationship. Compassionate individuals don't abandon someone they cherish easily, but reaching that extreme is unprecedented. When an empath loves their partner to the point of losing themselves, they would rather terminate the relationship than risk further damage. Empathic people comprehend their value and don't need frequent reminders of it. To keep their highly empathic partners from abandoning them, narcissists resort to love bombing. Employing crocodile tears and emotional manipulation, they target super empaths acutely aware of their vulnerability. Self-absorbed narcissists shower their partners with gifts and flattery, but disregard their needs. Their efforts happen mainly at the relationship's onset or when they sense its ending. If all else fails, narcissists employ gaslighting to discredit their partner's attempts to heal. Number 7. The intelligence of super empaths in gathering evidence. With their exceptional sensitivity and observational skills, super empaths have an innate ability to read between the lines and uncover subtle clues. Their investigative expertise allows them to see through a narcissist's facade and challenge their inflated sense of self importance. Narcissists should avoid super empaths because they are adept at proving their immorality. Highly empathetic individuals are relentless in their pursuit of truth, leaving no stone unturned in their search for answers. As champions of fairness, they will not rest until they have uncovered the truth and ensured justice is done. They protect others from the harmful schemes of narcissists while also ensuring their own security. Super empaths do not let narcissists off the hook for their actions, holding them accountable for their behavior. As victims of narcissistic abuse themselves, super empaths empathize with other victims and fight tirelessly for justice. Unfortunately, narcissists are unlikely to accept responsibility for their actions, making apologies often insincere. Do you find yourself to have high levels of empathy? If so, is there anything you believe could help a narcissist understand the impact of their actions and make amends? Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment, and subscribing to our channel.